welcome to this week's edition of Wise Wednesday. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you'll know I'm a huge fan of the Wise company. I love a company that loves to innovate and release smart home technology at rock bottom prices. Heck, I've even given them a day per week to review their relentless assault of new product releases in 2020 and 2021. They're not paying me to make this, they're not sending me free products, nor are we playing any inside baseball. I'm shelling out on my own for these products and your views and subscriptions are helping make that possible, so thank you. Today we're looking at the least wise product that they've introduced since the pair of wise socks my wife told me not to get. It's okay, I already had my own line of socks. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth interface, and the only thing that it has in common with the rest of their products to date is a USB charging port. Today we're talking about the WISE handheld vacuum. The WISE handheld vacuum is a unique cylinder shaped vacuum with 6,000 milliamp hours of batteries on board, an estimated cleaning runtime of 30 minutes. It includes a washable HEPA filter, a bagless and cordless design with easy one-handed opening to dump the contents of the collection cup. It features a burst mode for heavy jobs and overall it's pretty quiet. As any Kirby salesman will tell you, the motor is one of the most important parts of a vacuum and here they didn't skimp at all throwing in a brushless digital DC motor, that's probably where a lot of the cost went in making this device. Being a good husband, a somewhat messy studio owner, and married to someone that cleans house religiously, I thought what better tool to buy than a handheld vacuum? I see a lot of places that it could work well for. It's targeted for quick cleanup jobs and portability being the key. With our travel trailer, cars, boats, and five kids, we make messes just about everywhere. Like most WISE products, this thing came out as a pre-order and promptly sold out. They blew away their 10,000 unit goal and have sold nearly 40,000 of these one-handed wonders. This is a new area for WISE. While they've started to produce lifestyle products like headphones and watches, this is one of the first that doesn't work with their app. Not that I need an app to tell me how to use a wand style vacuum or when it was dirty, but it's a notable departure from the norm for them. So how well did they do? It sucks. So well. First, let's talk about what you get with it. So inside the box, it has everything that you would normally think of. It has the vacuum itself. It's going to have this extension tube, which is really useful for getting into tight places. It's gonna have this brush adapter, which is good for hair and picking up things that might be stuck into carpet. A crevice tool, which is good for getting in between things. The flat adapter, which actually works really good on flat floors. A USB adapter. Then there's an adapter to go from the round tubes or round tools to the oblong shape. And a USB type C cable. And lastly, a quick start guide. Sadly, there's no base station to store this all in, though some very creative folks have come through already making their own. More on that later. And finally, they include a storage bag that feels like a magnum size vacuum condom that's probably a little bit less durable. There isn't enough room to fit anything else that comes with the vacuum. Maybe they were expecting you to find other uses for it. WISE even includes an extra filter for those who pre-ordered this vacuum. Though be very careful as it was just flopping around outside the main product box during shipping and I almost tossed it out with the packaging. So I don't have a bunch of rice or dirt that I'm going to throw down and loose change to beat this thing up with, but what I do have is a real studio floor that doesn't get much airtime and needs a good cleaning, with both low pile carpet and laminate flooring surfaces. The brush tool worked well on the carpet, and the flat adapter made quick work of the laminate areas. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 for cleaning these types of surfaces. Next up, I wanted to see if it would suck the Cheetos and dust out of my gaming keyboards. My kids never listen, and after a few months, these keyboards are full of little bits of food and more treasures. The brush tool was good here, and the suction was plenty for that purpose. Not enough to remove letters, but just enough to quickly and gently clean the surfaces. Bravo wise. 
Now we just got back from a five day, 2,500 mile road trip and our car hasn't even been cleaned out yet. The Wise handheld vacuum did a good job here. Sunflower seeds from the driver, dirt from Red Rock National Park, and crumbs from the little ones were no match for it. The crevice tool is a must and the included extension hose made it really easy to use. For a quick car cleanups, I give it a nine out of 10, especially due to the charging system. So let's talk about that real quick. It comes with a traditional five volt, two amp USB charger with a mistake proof USB-C universal end. This means that the 6,000 milliamp hour under perfect condition batteries would charge in about three hours from dead flat. But due to things like math and physics and the fact that your batteries are never absolutely zero and they don't charge at 100% efficiency, well, you get my drift. Assume an overnight charge to get the vacuum back to usable shape. This usually isn't an issue, but if you're forgetful, there's no corded option that this device has as a backup. The cool thing though is you can charge it in a car, boat, or RV on your way somewhere, anywhere you have a USB charging port available. Handheld vacuums like this on Amazon range for price from $25 all the way up over $100, with cordless models costing a bit more and some even offering wet and dry performance. These aren't from no-name vendors either. Household brands like Bissell and Black & Decker are lending their brands to several competitive offerings, and several at cheaper prices. Many of their competitors offer a storage tray that can harness all these little bits when they're not in use, I know my family and if it's not bolted down or connected in some way to the device, it's going to get lost in no time. Some enterprising engineers have solved this problem on the Wise Core Facebook community. They're producing charging bases and tool holders for this unique product already. There's even a 3D printable model on Thingiverse. So the Wise handheld vacuum is a departure from tradition and a welcome addition to the Wise family. Like that strange cousin that doesn't say much at family gatherings, it may not make waves like a new Pan V3 camera would, but it'll do its job well if you need one. Much like that wise floor lamp that I just had to pre-order for no apparent reason, the vacuum appears to be a solid value with some rough edges. I really wish it came with a hard case or anything at all to keep all the accessories in, but the washable filter, High quality motor and long lasting rechargeable battery helps make up for that oversight. I want to thank you for watching and I'm happy to announce that Al won the Wise Robot Vacuum giveaway last week. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it up in an iCard above. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I do product reviews, tech tips, and more on my channel, The Net Guy, that you're watching now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment if you're going to pick one of these up and subscribe so we can keep this conversation going. This has been John, the Net Guy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.